Welcome to another Z-Hut GIMP tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a realistic 3D pool ball in GIMP. Start with open up GIMP. Go under File, New. We want to create 600 by 600. Select OK. Now, the background is white, but I've had some problems before, so I just want to make sure it is white. So we'll put the foreground to white, click on the bucket fill, fill it with white. Now we'll switch that back. Next, you'll go under View, Show Grid, Back to View, Snap to Grid, Go to Image, Configure Grid, here we go, and we want to set it to 100 by 100 and click OK. Next, you'll want to select your rectangle tool. Make sure it is set from Expand from Center. Go to the center, we'll expand it out to fill up the two middle grids, then release. Now we're going to do the 13, or number 13 pool ball, so I'm going to select the color, orange, OK, bucket fill, fill that selection in with the orange. Next, go to Select, None, Ellipse Tool, make sure that is set from Expand from Center. Go to the center, click, and we'll just drag it out close to the size we need, but then we're going to go down here to the size. We want to make it 75 by 150. There we go. Now we can go to our colors, flip it so white is the foreground. Go to the bucket fill. Now we have that filled with white. Next we'll be doing our text. So first we'll go select none. Go to our text tool. And we'll just roughly select the area like so. Then we want to put it at sans bold and a size of about 50. Click in there. And oh, before I forget, we need to select the text color to black. Okay, and then we just type in 13. Next, we will go to layer. Or wait, 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 wait. Select none, select it, okay. We'll click off. We'll go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer. Then we will go to our Alignment Tool and align this to the center. Oh, got to click on it first. Align it to the center. Next, you're going to go to your Scale Tool. Click on it, and we want to drag this down and up, make it bigger, and then narrow it in just a little bit. All right, we'll take a look and see how that looks. That might need to be shrunk just a little more, so we'll do it again. Bring, whoops. Try it right there. That's better. 
Now we go back to the alignment tool, click on it, and align it to the center. There, we are almost done. Next, go over on your text layer, right click it, then you want to merge that down and make sure nothing's selected. It's not. So then we go to Filters, Map, Map Object, set it, and we want to map it to a sphere. We're going to want a transparent background. Everything else can be pretty much left the same unless you want to rotate so that the number is off-centered a little, and to do that, you just Yep, the wireframe is shown. Oh, my bad. Orientation. And you can use these to configure the orientation of how if you want the number to show upwards, downwards, right to left, all different ways. But I'm just going to leave it centered. So we're going to go back. Oh, map, map object. I'm going to make sure that's selected the sphere, transparent background, and then we'll render it. There you go, the number 13 pool ball, 3D. Now if you're wondering what you could use something like this for, I designed a t-shirt design, the evil 666 player. That's one of the uses you could find for drawing a 3D pool ball. You could also make a poster out of this, but I just have it as a t-shirt design and it's doing pretty good. Well, thank you for watching. Please click on the like button if this video was helpful. And until next time, have a good day.